Smartphone cameras are getting better and better nowadays. You can take professional looking videos from your smartphone camera. But what if I tell you that there is a free app that you can install in your phone that can make videos shot on your smartphone camera to look better than some professional cameras? Allow me to introduce to you the Blackmagic camera app for Android and iOS. Right now I'm shooting with the Blackmagic camera app for Android from the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and you can't even tell much difference between when I was shooting with this and when it's shooting out from the camera. This Magic camera app is a game changer. So whether you're using an iPhone or an Android phone, let me show you how to film like a pro using your smartphone with the Blackmagic camera app and why you may not need to spend thousands of dollars on professional camera gear yet. Okay, welcome back. <laughs> the Blackmagic camera has been on the iOS app store since September 15, 2023 and many iPhone users are not even aware. It was announced on Android June 24, 2024 and it's now available on some Android phones, which I'll tell you later in this video. But of course, it's available for the S24 Ultra. I'm going to show you. The question is, why am I talking about this? Why do I need another camera app in my phone when my phone already has as a default camera app. For starters, this is me recording video straight into the external storage using USB-C OTG adapter and micro SD card, something your default camera app is not capable of doing. Just go to settings, media, files, and choose the USB storage. I made a Blackmagic folder. I select it, give it permission, and I'm good to go. You can also plug in all sorts of external hard drives, USB drives. Before we go into the magic of the day, a sub to the channel will be magical. So why not click on that subscribe button right now and turn the notification bell icon to get videos like this when we upload them and make sure you click on the like and share button so that more people can see this video. If you shoot videos with your smartphone and you want your content to stand out among the millions of content being shot out there, you have to download the Blackmagic camera app right now. And with that say, let me take you in into the Blackmagic camera and show you its capabilities. The Blackmagic camera on screen screen settings. This is what makes the Blackmagic camera app better than most professional camera. The clean and intuitive interface showing all the essential settings that you can easily tweak manually or set to auto or lock while recording. Let me walk you through each settings. We will start from auto settings and move everything to manual. Notice how everything is changing while on auto and it changes the color, the lightning, the ISO, all the numbers just keep changing. If you're on Android, do not change the lens. It does mess up the color scheme. This is not a problem for iPhone users uh, on the Blackmagic camera app, but a restart on Android gets everything to you know work normal again. We will start from the frames per second or FPS. I love to shoot 30 FPS, which is <laughs> good enough for most content you shoot on social media. If my FPS is 30, uh, the basic uh, rule of thumb means that my shutter speed have to be 1 over 60. I'll leave the ISO at 100. For the white balance, you know, I like it to stay somewhere between 6K and 7K. And I also like to tweak the tint a little bit. The autofocus is one of the most critical here. If you touch the screen, uh, it will move from manual focus to autofocus. So <laughs> make sure you are careful about that. I will still show you how you can lock some of this thing later. Another critical one is exposure. Once you touch your exposure, it changes the ISO, the shutter speed and everything. So choose your desired exposure setting uh, before choosing ISO and shutter speed. We will manually set our FPS, ISO and shutter speed as desired. There is an option also to lock exposure, which I recommend that you use so that as the dental touch of the screen does not go and change uh, the exposure, which will change the ISO, change the shutter speed and all that. Now you can see my hand is moving, but the color is not changing. Every number set manual in the screen is not changing apart from the autofocus, which tracks my hand. And that is what makes it a professional camera. You can hold everything down on, on manual and leave the focus to autofocus. Some flagship smartphones have very good autofocus system. Let's talk about manual focus assist. 
tap on the face icon on the screen and adjust the focus assistant uh, intensity. Go back to the focus setting. The area in focus will have strong red color around it. This color will disappear if you move out of focus. I'll show you how to tweak this more in the video when we get into the advanced settings. Image stabilization. The Blackmagic camera app uses optical image stabilization if your device has this capability and also EIS which is electronic image stabilization uh, for phones that don't have uh, OIS. Unfortunately, there is no image stabilization for the front camera. Once I switch to 1x, you see my hand is shaky, but I can actually turn image stabilization on while I am shooting and this is optical. So you can see it's a little bit smooth now while I am, you know, trying to shoot, you know. So let me try standard. So standard makes it even way smoother, but it does zoom in. So, <laughs> so yep, that's, that's, that's it, that's. Hello guys, so this is me recording from this newer microphone on this a magic um, camera. It does have the option to record with USB audio from this. So that's quite interesting. Um, I want to hear it back to know how the option will do. I just later saw this later in the video. So, so quickly, there's a new update with the Blackmagic camera app, and this is more on Android. The Android version is now in version 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, there are some a whole lot of things happening that I want to share with you. But right now, with the version 1.1 release, there's a lot of new features and good news for Android users. By default, the Blackmagic camera requires Android 13, but even at that, it only supported two major Android phones. Right now, it has been open to much, much more Android phones like uh, down to Pixel 6, 6, 8, uh, to Xiaomi 13, Xiaomi 14 uh, series. It's gone up to Samsung. And if you're even using any Android phone that is up to Android 13, you can try out to see whether it's working for you. So of course, there's going to be a lot of improvement for Android side. More devices will be supported. And now you have no excuse to shoot pro level pro level videos from your smartphones there are a whole lot of things i can show you here but i will show you the advanced settings in the part two of this video so make sure you like share follow subscribe uh, to get that uh, video once we bring it out so that's it <laughs> you don't have any excuse right now not to shoot great content from your smartphone so go right now to the app store Play Store, download the Blackmagic camera app and check it out. So until I see you in the next one, it is peace to our world. Subscribe. I see you.